Hi everyone, welcome to Handicrafts A to Z channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to weave on the Inca loom. This is just a plain band, the warp faced and it's very easy and very fast to make. Let's get started. So we've got the loom dressed, all huddled up. Made sure that there's no mistakes, no missing threads, no free running warp in couples between the heddle ones. Everything is set in order, in order. and got a nice pattern looking through. And now we have all we have to do is use some spacers to keep the the knotted part where we tied all the knots and all this mess happening. We keep it from the weaving and to raise, to sh change the shed, all we have to do is raise these free running threads unheddled up and down. That sh forms the shed. The shed is here. So over here I insert the, uh, just the cardboard from cookies or maybe candies, I don't know, I don't remember. It's been a long time. And here we can see the pattern. And now we're ready to apply the shuttle. So I change the shed, insert the shuttle, and I keep about 20 centimeters thread tail long, extra. I'll tell you why we need it, because we'll be weaving in in our work. Change the shed. Right now this beginning side looks messy. It's always lo lo looks messy when we start. And while the shed is still the same position for the shuttle, I insert the other side and I keep about one inch loop on both sides. Change the shed and beat. So far it looks kind of wobbly. But never mind, this will be sorted. So what we do now is I have to pull this one of the sides together. Like this. So that we pull all the work together. And then pull it as tight as possible so you don't get any spaces. You shouldn't see the warp. It should be like this. And like I change the shed. I beat hard. This yarn is kind of sli uh, slippery, so it's a bit difficult to work with. It looks fine. Again, we'll pull this thread, the tail, and to the side. And again, Pull the work, pull the tail, both sides, very close to the work, both ends. So then you can do it one more time to secure the tail. Once it's finished, it's woven in, we can trim it off later. So I usually like do two, three picks at the same time. And that would be enough for me. Change the shed. I beat tight. I pull the thread. Done. So all I have to do is change the shed. Now we went to the appropriate length. Of the, of, of the band that I'm, I'm weaving and it goes like this. You can use your hands to pull the threads close so when you beat you don't have to apply too much pressure because it's already fitted in space in place and so it goes like this 
Hop. Bit. Pull this little tail. This also helps you to control the, the straight edges, salvages. And so like this. And again, you can use the the special clips for for the sewing machines to control the length, the, the width of your band. But generally, after a couple of centimeters, you will figure out how to keep it straight, how to keep the tension right, and it will be very easy to weave. So. Have fun weaving. And again, beat, pull, pull the thread, make sure it's all the same, same width. As the beginning, you might have just that first centimeter a bit loose, but once you get to, to the beat, once you get to the tension, it will be easy to control. So, once you're ready, you've done a couple of centimeters, we're ready to start the next tutorial. So, see you soon. Bye.